those of you who heard, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are heading out of this hotel because, of course, last episode, we were able to defeat the semifinals battles against both Marnie and Hop. So now we are going to the finals before we go against Leon. I guess there's still, still more to do. But Leon was supposed to go to dinner with us and Hop, but he didn't show up. So who knows what's going on now? We're going to follow Piers around. Oh, hey, it's Marnie. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Zebra. We decided the team yell will cheer you on, Zebra. Let's help out together. But aren't we just looking for him? Like, did something happen? What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Oh, it's this girl again. Miss Oleana. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. So let's go into Ferris wheel instead. Oh, it's very colorful too. After all, only author authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand selected a member of the league staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games after all. You think you can tell the difference between normal league staff and the one I chose? No, because they're identical. Do you think you can find me? Come back. All right, well, he ran that way. What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Zebra, team yells, yelling, we'll handle this. All right, well, they're yelling. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. So we just have to look at all the different league guys until we find the right one. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah, sure. That's look fun. All right, let's all work together and head to the Rose Tower. Hmm, so we need to find him along the way though. Let's find Aliana's league staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? I guess so. But it was like a different pair of shades than this guy. Finding time for the Champion Cup, being super busy makes you want to slack off, doesn't it? No. <laughs> uh, we're crazy busy because of the Champion Cup, and yet I can't get to Rose Tower. Some link staff aren't doing their jobs. <laughs> Probably that guy sitting down over there. I've heard the Champion and Chairman Rose are having a very important discussion right now. I wonder what it's all about. So obviously they all have like yellow tinted sunglasses, so not quite what we're looking for. I wanna get to Rose Tower, but the monorail isn't moving. So unless we find this guy, we can't get through the monorail anyways. So there are good league staff members and they're this bad league staff member. And the only difference is that the bad one is wearing sunglasses? Why even bother with different look then? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this guy's hiding. Hey Zebra, this book's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. Uh, you look nice today. Oh, no, didn't work. Hey Zebra, this book's awfully shifty, I know. Uh, Miss Aliana's here. We already have the key, you know. <laughs> what? Blasted! I turned around and I can't escape. <laughs> we have you cornered. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. All right, we're going against this guy then. Mar Macro Cosmos Eric. What? 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 Macro Cosmo? Who's that? I don't know. Uh, sent out Meowth. Well, that's a Steel type, right? So Dot should be able to handle that, no problem. Okay, let's fight. And you know what, yeah, we'll just do Flame Charge, it'll be fine. We have a huge level lead on you, 14 levels. So boom, got it. And Meowth fainted. It was Galarian Meowth. And that should be levels, almost level 64 for Jazzy, but it is level 62 for Biggie. Durant. I don't remember Durant. Um, we're just gonna do Biggie, because why not? <laughs> I just feel like playing as him now. I don't remember who Durant is. I mean, hopefully a bug type. I mean, I don't know if Dark is good against bug, probably not. I wasn't wrong though. Oh my gosh, it might be like a steel type bug. My cheers will really get you going. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for the help. So Biggie's speed rose sharply. I don't know if we've ever gone against a Durant then. So what do we have here? Oh, we can do parting shot. Uh, with a parting threat, the user lowers the targets then switches with a party Pokemon. Let's do this then. <laughs> this is a pretty cool move. <laughs> ah! 
So, what do we want to switch to? Probably back to Dot. Just because I, it looks like a seal type to me. And we just want to be safe against that. Axe Scissor. Oh. Oh, didn't do much. Didn't do much at all. So, let's go ahead and just do a normal flame charge, and that should be enough to take you down again. It's another 14 level lead. So you are you just like a steel type trainer? Is that the idea? We might just wanna keep that in mind. Oh, level 64. And we defeated Macrocosmos, Eric. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. <laughs> you seem so frustrated. Well, there we go, another win for us. All I needed to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key. No, come back. Oh, come on. It's a wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. All right, well, I guess we'll have to find him. So will he still be in this like whole area? It's not you. Oh, I see him, I see him. Okay, I get the idea. Oh, let's talk to you, hi. Talking to me ain't gonna help you find the bad guy now, is it? I'll cheer you on, so go out there and track him down. Hi, <laughs> I found you. How'd you find me, or did you just talk to everyone you met? Well, I, I do do that, but I, I noticed your glasses. Bah, whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Is it gonna be the same Pokemon, or do you have different ones, maybe? I'd hope different ones. Mawile, okay, this is definitely like a dark type, right? I don't think it's a steel. Okay. So, okay, well this is all super effective. I don't mean to use dot 24 seven, but if it works, it works, you know? Don't fix what's not broken. I mean, they give you the starter with the assumption that you're gonna use the starter a lot. But that's the way they designed the starter Pokemon the way they do. Excadrill. Now, Excadrill, I feel like I should remember, but I do not. So we are going to spending, be sending out Shawnee for the fun of it. It might be a bug type Pokemon, but no, no, it's a ground type for sure. Excadrill. Like excavation drill. Oh, wow, okay. So Shawnee was probably not the best choice. I do remember you now. Feel that flow, yeah, you feel it, Zebra? Yeah, I, I think I said sure. Sure. So, first off, let's take a look at your info for Excadrill. Ground Steel. Um, so neither of these will be very effective, so our best bet is just to switch Pokemon again. I gotta switch to something that isn't Dot. So I'm just gonna go to Tom. He's definitely like a steel type trainer. Okay. So is Mawile steel? I don't know, it might be like a dark steel. Or maybe like a grass steel, that would be weird. So that won't do too much to us, but this is where we can take an advantage. Uh, first off, we're just gonna do Dig. Dig's always pretty good. So go underground, then we'll pop out on the other side. Just like that, boom, gotcha. Not a problem, good job, Tom. So I think that's the only other two Pokemon you had, right? Maybe, oh, we got level 58 for Tom. So we got you again, and I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Seems like you have a lot more Pokeballs though, so let's see what else we end up doing here. They say hi to, they say hi to tree in the forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. And now he's off again. Well, he ran this way, so I can only assume he's in the phone booth. Didn't give you much time to get away this time. All right, you're way too observant. I just followed you, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. No getting away this time, this is the last battle, okay? Pharaoh Seed, I've never ever seen you before, but you look steel, so I'm going to steal this victory with Dot. Let's just do Flame Charge to start things off. Because all of your Pokemon are level 47. So there is that. That's another one we now know about though, which is always great, Iron Barbs. Well, that hurt. But you fainted. <laughs> You're like a little metallic seed. Very weird. Steelix, now Steelix obviously is a Steel type Pokemon. Might be higher level or something, it's not but I will go a little bit stronger, maybe. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. <laughs> You're the best, Marnie. Marnie really is the best. She's, su she's super nice all the time. Maybe we could just do Flame Charge. It's still the 14 level lead. 
Yeah, we're fine. So he has to give in at this point. I can only imagine. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing now to do now is run. We have to like surround him or something. Seems like you've got me cornered. But I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on, a, on the monorail. But that's cheating. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the station together. Okay. So hopefully we can just meet him halfway or something. I don't know. Where is the monorail station? I guess. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Oh no, which one is he? Is he any of them? <laughs> oh gosh. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member, Zebra. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe the songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. Okay, I guess he's supposed to be singing right now. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. <laughs> I feel like more he's just screaming it. Go, Piers, yeah. <laughs> Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. So yeah, now they're gonna storm the whole area. Taking pictures with their phones, causing a whole scene. Oh, and there's some Galarian zigzagoons. They love it, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, here they come. <laughs> that's great. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. What is she looking for? I don't know. Zebra hop, now's your chance. Go get out of here. All right. And Marnie. <laughs> Search for the bag, bad league staff member. I'm trying. Wow, look at this place. It's huge. We never went on the, the, the Ferris wheel, though. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yellow is gonna have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Zebra, what should we do? Uh, Wait for the others to catch up? Afraid I can't agree to that, mate. Team Yellow's giving it all, their all to help us out so we can go ahead to help Lee. Okay, that seems fine. Zebra, you cleared the way to Ro Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. All right, an employee's an employee, I guess. Seem, seems that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Either that or she's up to no good. There's like no main villain to this game. It's weird. <laughs> chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, oh hey, you caught up. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Myth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? <laughs> you better get going. I'll send some, some poor with uh, your way with a yell. Okay. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Zebra. All right, so we're running off into the tower, but first I wanna take a look around, see if there's maybe anything to collect. I'm not really sure, but only really one way to find out just to run from place to place. Nothing over there. Okay, we might as well talk to you. Gotta stick around to make sure, okay. Yep, never mind. Oh, where's, okay, there he is. He just popped into existence. Let's go, Zebra. What's over here? They're really not looking like much of anything, but there is a Pokeball. Go get it. Come on. Keep running. And got it. I already found an electric seed, and I need to be held by Pokemon. It boosts the defense on electric terrain. It can only be used once. Oh, we can walk on this grass. Usually you can't. Well, then we really have to look around. Hmm. So what's on this side then? Another Pokeball? There is indeed another Pokeball. I love the city in the background. The art of this game is so cool. I just, I like this, the style of it all. 
There we go. You found a cell battery, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts the attack if the holder is hit with an electric type attack. It can only be used once. Huh, that seems like it'd be really good for Jazzy. I don't know. So it looks like we're just good to go into the tower now if there's nothing else we can find. Hmm. Very empty. Whoa, it's huge in here. Why did you just walk right into the garden? You have no manners sometimes. <laughs> what in the world is this place meant to be? Or is it under the floor? Oh, I think it is. Like there's like a glass panel over the, the garden. Listen, Zebra, don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. You know what I'm, yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. I wonder if we'll have to do that. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. Why does she have so much against us? I guess it's just what Rose is ordering, but why is Rose ordering this? Like, he has too much free time. <laughs> See, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. We'll see, we've already beaten you three times. Oh no, this might be different versus Elijah. I think it was somebody else before. Durant. Again, so are these all steel type trainers? Because that means we're just basically using Dot for the rest of the episode. <laughs> or for this is the rest of this tower. Okay, so let's just fight. We'll just keep using Flame Charge. Ready? Boom. And. Got some experience. And that was it, that's all you had? Having to give up my pocket money and losing means I'm back in the red. Hmm. The music just keeps going right now, that's weird. But my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. Oh, now I feel bad. We need to speak to, with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift, the chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Zebra, let's crack on. We will in just a moment. Might as well take a look around this place to see if there's anything to get, anything for free. I haven't talked to the receptionist, she's just silently watching all this. I mean, it's really empty in here. It must not be a very interesting job. Hello. Welcome, this is the front desk for Rose Tower. Doesn't have anything interesting to say. Get on the left, yeah, 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 okay. Let's go. This is really bizarre so far. I gotta be honest. This is a huge elevator. This is ridiculous. How many people would need to be on this on a normal circumstance? This is taking ages. Wait, this isn't the top. Is it? What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Because more people wanna battle us. Maybe they're just trying to go up too. You two are the gym challenges, challenges aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gower League's Gym Challenge, yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. But we were invited to do this, I don't understand. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. So I guess they're employees of Macrocosmos Construction then. All right, well, they look pretty cool. Uh, so, Macrocosmos, Jane, and Matteo. Kufant and Bronzong. We've gone against Bronzong before. That's a steel type. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, this is cool. So we're teaming up with Hop here. Admiring the surrounding view, me too. It's pretty nice. So what about Kufant? We have not battled Kufant before, but Bronzong is a steel, steel psychic. So Flame Charge should just do fine against it. Indeed it does, but not enough to take it out, whoops. That's not good. Body slam, but on who? Okay, so you're gonna finish him off for me. Thank you. I just don't know what type the elephant, the Dufant is. We'll find out sooner or later. Iron head, so is it also, it must also be steel type then. I mean, that's not, that doesn't exactly mean that. I mean, you know, Dot's not a fighting type, she's just fire, but she has a fighting type move. The chances are high that she's a steel type though, because of the fact that everybody else we fought against these guys has been steel. So it looks like that is the case. Down you go. And that's gonna be almost level 59 for Shawnee. And you guys have been defeated. 
We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. <laughs> okay, you've already said that. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo, Macro Cosmo's construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. All right, well that's nice. I do appreciate the elevator. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with the Chairman Rose's work. We just wanna go have dinner with Leon. It's just, I'm just, I'm hungry. <laughs> the elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. What? But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Uh, okay. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teens have been working themselves ragged for us. Let, let me heal them all up. Thank you. That's useful. All right, let's go up a little bit more. They're probably gonna stop us again, because why wouldn't they? Oh no, we're going way up there. Oh, it's slowing down. Here we go again. Oh, they're coming in from the left this time. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. So we're halfway there. I'm from MC Insurance. Uh, do you have a life insurance policy? Well, not with MC, I guess. Because I hadn't heard of them before this episode. You were challenged by Macrocosmos Kevin and Carla. Clang and Mawile. Yeah, definitely Mawile is some kind of seal type. I want to check now. I mean, Clang is obviously a steel type. I love all the little black spots on uh, on Double. I didn't notice that before. That's cute. So first off, info on Mawile. It's a steel fairy. It always looks like it looks like a plant to me. I don't know. Clang. I guess we've not gone against. We've gone against Kling Clang, but not Clang. Is it Kling Clang evolves into Clang or vice versa? It's a weird naming scheme. Anyways, we'll just do a super effective fire move onto you and do just fine. And then clang over that way. I'm pretty sure they only have two Pokemon because that's what they had before. And that's finally level 59 for Shawnee. Nice to see it. And Double's gonna do Body Slam, which really won't do too much. Shift gear. Oh my. So that rises their speed and their attack. We should be able to handle that. So, flame charge again. Yeah, this is the last one. Last Pokemon in this battle. And you're done for. So Clang has been taken out and lift out the two trainers. So we're halfway through this giant tower. That actually didn't take too long, so hopefully that the remaining half won't be too bad. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building's well over 500 feet tall. Why, what is with you guys repeating information just in different wording? <laughs> That's as tall as around 100 Machokes standing on top of each other. Uh, okay. Like they don't know anything more than corporate slogans. I'm quite terrified of heights actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. I mean, you didn't get hurt, did you? So why would you need the insurance? Unless it's like insurance for your pride. All right, well, we'll keep going for now. Hopefully make it far. What are we at now, like 750 feet? That'd be nice. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. So you work in planes or what? I don't know, he's a pilot. Adeline and Justin. So Steelix and Stunfisk. Oh, not Stunfisk again. I don't like Stunfisk, it's creepy. Okay, so we'll start with probably getting rid of Stunfisk because that's a tougher Pokemon in my experience so far. Um, and it's super effective against it, so we'll just try this out. Ready, boom, see ya. Oh, actually not taking you out. I need to start using the stronger fire type moves, it looks like. Body Slam, are you gonna use it on Stunfisk though? Hopefully finishing it off or not at all. You gotta choose a different Pokemon to go against these guys. Whoa, oh, that's actually bad. That's actually really bad for us. Didn't take us out, but super effective nonetheless. And then also, did we avoid that or no? No, we did not. <laughs> okay, not going so well right now. I think I'm going to do a Blast Burn. Well, actually, we could do Pyro Ball against Steel. Just try to get a one-hit takedown on you. 
Let's see how that works. It should work, for sure. Excellent. So down goes Steelix, and then um, hopefully Hop can take out the uh, Stunfisk Bow. Now level 62 for Dot. Uh, she wants to learn Court Challenge, which is a normal type move. I'm not interested. With it, its mysterious power, the user swaps the effects on either side of the field. No. Well, no, I mean like, no, I don't want it. Okay, so Body Slam. It still won't be enough. I don't know why you keep using it. Not Muddy Water. Okay, Dot avoided it, very nice. But it looks like it's still affected Jazzy. I like how it just doesn't do anything to us, weird. Okay, Dot, go ahead and just use Flame Charge to definitely finish him off. There it goes. So Stun Fisk is down, and that means both of these two are also finished. Okay. I don't and Justin are defeated. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dead. Okay, you're just gonna keep saying that. <laughs> you ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Oh, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. I mean, but that doesn't mean you can't meet the guy. <laughs> You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just at this tower, but all of all Galar. Okay, but we've already met him before, so why can't we meet him now? <laughs> Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. So I guess we might run into one more battle, but we might not, because we have a dynamic camera angle. Oh, we've done it. Wow, look at this glass roof. Oh, hey, it's you, again. How are you? Welcome to the Chairman Rose's exclusive space, here, nearly a thousand feet above Earth. So, you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainer's handpicked by the champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid that it is now time for you to go home. I just wanted dinner. Because I would not allow you to anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose, oh man. You shall be the first, Zebra. If I beat you to pieces, that the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. What is the chairman trying to do? You are so angry. You were challenged by Macrocosmos' Oleana. She's sending out Frostlass. Whoa, I like it. Oh, now she's calm again. I like her, she's a cool character, but she's scary. I don't know if my Pokemon are healed or not. Maybe should have looked into that. This is a Dynamaxing area, that's right. Oh boy, Dad's waiting for your directions. Well, you know what I'm gonna direct you to do. Beat this Pokemon up with a Pyro Ball. Because it's definitely like a nice type. Boom. So. Oh, she's angry again. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt a Pokemon, I guess. I don't know what that said. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do in a battle. Melotic. Melotic. I might want to check this one really quickly because I don't want to get beat up. Melotic is a water type, so we're definitely switching Pokemon. Um, I didn't look at the picture. I try not to look at the pictures because I just want to see what the typing is so I don't get my butt kicked. You know what? Maybe I should just go for it. I feel like I'll enjoy it more, even if I have to learn the hard way. So I I'm going to stop doing that. Unless I'm in a really big pinch, which right now I'm not. Oh wow, you're pretty. She has a really cool looking Pokemon. I love it. So let's just go ahead and do Spark. Actually, maybe we should do Wild Charge. Just go for it. All in. There we go. But I like her style a lot. I mean, obviously her, her attitude is a little intimidating, especially when she gets really angry. But I don't know, just everything else about her is really cool. So Biggie leveled up there, I think level 64. So Lazzle, okay, that is a fire type for sure. So we're gonna switch to Tom real quick. All right, I'm ready. I like her theme as well. Whoa, is that like a Galarian thing? Or is that what it normally evolves into? Because I think we've seen the pre-evolution of this. So let's just try Dig for now. It might be a ground fire though. That might not have been the best. Poison gas. Well, now we're poisoned, but that's not the end of the world. We can handle that. That won't stop us from doing moves, so. 
Yeah, she has like some very awesomely themed Pokemon. So we're able to dodge that. And now, boom, going for you. One hit takedown. Okay. Ooh, level 60 for Smokey, level 59 for Tom, and level 65 for Jazzy. Wow. So one last Pokemon, we gotta get to level uh 60. Serena. I don't know what Serena is. It sounds like something that might be like a fairy type or something. Let's just use Biggie here. Okay. Serena is gonna be... Oh, that looks more like a grass type. I could try it though. I mean, we could do... Hmm. Let's try foul play. We'll try foul play and that actually did a lot of damage. So I think I think we're good. Ow, that hurt though. <laughs> so let's just do foul play again. Oh, nice. Okay, so Serena's fainted. I don't know how many more Pokemon you have. That's gonna be a good chunk more experience. Garbodor, Garbodor, Garbodor. That's a garbage Pokemon, right? Um, what was that? I think that was like a dark, right? Um, if that's the case, then we should switch back to Dot maybe and use the fighting type move or we can do Jazzy with the fairy. Okay, let's do the Jazzy. I'm pretty sure this is the garbage Pokemon. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Oh, Liana's gotta finish this. She's talking about, about herself in the third person. You know that's when she's gone crazy. I was right! Okay, so. Let's try, oh, let's try Dynamaxing. And then do the max Starfall. And see if this was a regrettable choice. I hope not. But I, I really did think that Oleana's really cool. All of her Pokemon and just, I don't know, her attitude throughout the game so far being like this really reserved person, but also having this, I guess, intense emotion. I think it's awesome. So. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. Gigantamax at Rose Tower. Is this Pokemon seriously Gigantamax? I suppose so. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it has a bunch of toys and stuff on it now. Wow. All right, well, let's hope that it's actually a dark type. Oh no, <laughs> that's a problem. That didn't do too much. Not very effective. What type of Pokemon is Garbodor then? Probably should have just checked before I did all that. Uh, weak armor, that's a good thing. So it's defense fell, but then it's attacks gonna go up. Speed rose sharply. So what's it gonna do now? Max Quake. Oh no. Oh, I've made some poor decisions, haven't I? <laughs> okay, so we'll double check. Super effective. Big problem, special defense rose. Info. Garbodor. It won't tell me. So we'll just, I mean, I can only assume it has to be ground type. Well, fairy move wasn't good against it. What's fairy not good against? Fighting dragon, well no, no. no. Fire, poison, and steel. So it's probably poison type then. I mean, I don't want to switch my Pokemon now, but that might be a good thing, depending on, like, we'll try Max Lightning. Oh, but now they're doing this again. Oh, we won't even have a chance. Yikes. So big mistake by me. Huh. So if it's a poison type, I mean, we could try Tom. I mean, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble for right now, but the best thing would be to pull out Tom and then do Dig, so it skips a turn, and mean, meaning hopefully we'll be able to survive this Dynamax. So, immediately Dig. Oh, but they're gonna start first. No, come on. That stinks. Won't be not to take him out. Won't be. Tom's holding on. Good job, Tom. but their defense is rising and rising. We're just gonna burrow into the ground. 
and we'll see how much damage this does. But now a turn's gonna skip and you're gonna go back to normal. Stomping Tantrum. We avoided the attack, of course. Well, let's try Dig. Oh, there we go, we figured it out. It's super effective. Garbodor fainted, so I'm guessing it's a poison crown type? Or I mean, it's at least poison type to some degree. Maybe it's just poison. Microcosmos Oleana has been defeated. She looks so disappointed. I wasn't able to win. Oleana, you really are a hopeless woman. Don't say that, it's not true. You put in a great battle, I almost lost to you. <laughs> ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish, there's nothing to be done now. What is she on about? Typical zebra, you and Cinderace are unstoppable. Anyway, see ya. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake? You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as a champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Gower wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gower region stretched out before us and know that the energy required to keep this brilliant glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Gower today will no longer even exist. What Gower wants to har uh, to hardly matter. I don't know what that said, sorry. Uh, the future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. I don't disagree, but I need more context of what's going on. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. All right, well, hey guys, Lee. You never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all the team yell oddballs, they all helped us get out to here, because they tried to stop us for some reason that they won't explain. I must apologize to you, Hop, if you made, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Zebra, Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab a dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Sure, I'd like some food right about now. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll catch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. See ya. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history. I don't like this subtle undertone that he's gonna do something evil. The next evening, we're back in the hotel again. This is it, did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Zebra, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. You didn't use Rillaboom once. <laughs> no, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here to, for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Zebra? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to the Windon Stadium? 
No, I know the way. Understood. Come talk to me again if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out front. So we'll be going back to the Windom Stadium for more battling in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment only on a zebra, so when you have watched at the end of the you're a zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the zebra herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.